Hello, I'm Eric Landlord and welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm going to share with you my recipe for the best vanilla ice cream. A recipe who's going to make your taste bud explode. And I'm going to show you when there is nothing plain about vanilla. I'm using part full fat milk and double cream. I got some golden caster sugar. As ever, always try to use unrefined sugar when cooking or baking. It brings you some extra flavor and as well as less process. Three eggs, but I'm gonna be using only the yolks. And of course, we've got some vanilla. And when it's time for vanilla, I like using Nielsen Massey vanilla extract or the bean paste. It's up to you, but for me, a good vanilla ice cream, I want to see the lovely sexy seed inside. So I'm gonna use the vanilla bean paste. So the first step for our recipe is to make a vanilla custard. In a saucepan here, I'm gonna place full fat milk and I'm gonna to add to it the double cream. I'm gonna put that on the heat, almost take it to the boil. In the meantime, I'm gonna get my egg yolk and my sugar ready. I'm gonna separate my eggs and I'm gonna whisk them up with the golden caster sugar. I find it easier personally to use caster sugar in all my baking because the sugar grain is much smaller and it does dissolve easier as well. And this is exactly what I'm looking for. It's much paler, it's fluffier, it's ready. And what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna add a little bit of the hot mixture of cream and milk on top of my egg mixture so they don't scramble with the heat. Mix it very well and then put everything back in the saucepan. Swishing from the whisk to a wooden spoon, I'm gonna cook it back on the stove. And the trick is you want to cook it on the medium heat till the back of your spoon is gently covered with that thick custard. So my custard is perfectly cooked, it's nice and thick, and I let it to cool down a little bit. And that's a tip for you. Whenever you can, try to add your vanilla extract or your vanilla bean paste to a cold mixture. Because if it's too hot, you will destroy some of the complex flavor part of the original vanilla bean. So I'm gonna add two generous teaspoons of that gorgeous ingredient and I'm just gonna stir that into my custard. I'm gonna pass the custard to a fine sift. I'm gonna leave it to cool down completely, icy cold in the fridge for a few hours. This is it, this is the exciting part of our recipe. No more going in and out of your freezer trying to create a delicious ice cream without ice crystal. Now you can get hold of an ice cream maker without spending a fortune. They're very easy to use. You just put the base into your freezer overnight and in 15 minutes, you can have a delicious ice cream. So my custard is nice and cold and we're just gonna pour it into the mixture. So time to reveal what we've got here. Perfectly, freshly churned ice cream. And if you want to chess it up to add some extra vava vum to your vanilla ice cream, you can add some broken cookies to it, even like soak raisins in rum. But one of my favorite ones is to add to it some chocolate chips and some chopped after dinner mint. Make it very refreshing, perfect as a palate cleanser after a dinner, which will impress all your friends and family. 